up? What woke you up in the middle of the night? Um, the fire alarm. The fire alarm? Mm-hmm. Was it, what kind of noise was it making? Um, the fire alarm sound. Did it scare you? One time. Oh, did you hear that? Uh-huh. So that what woke me up. Mm-hmm. It's interesting how fire alarms are like structurally designed for the battery to run low and for it to start chirping in the middle of the night. Like it always happens in the middle of the night, right? It's so strange. So Caleb's fire alarm. See? You hear that? So um, we don't have a nine volt battery. So I went up there and I pulled the battery out and we just don't have an extra one with us. So we're gonna have to go and pick Buy that up. Buy some more. Or the chirping will never stop. We can get a new battery. Is that what we're going to have to do? Yeah, but go ahead. Did you hear it again? Yeah. Well, I don't think this guy is going to bed anytime soon. This pass. And she was like, okay, little and <laughs> How are you doing? Good. <laughs> Nora. <laughs> Nora, can you say hi? So yesterday in the comments, somebody asked why we call Caleb Cubby, and I thought I would tell you guys. So Mr. Caleb here, when he was born, Elise was two. So when we came home from the hospital, Miss Elise couldn't say Caleb, and so we would say, here's your baby brother, Caleb, and she would try and try, and what she started saying was Cub. That's why Caleb's called Cub. Little tidbit for you. So we stop reading the books and I look around and the living room's kind of messy. And I'm like, all right, let's clean this up. And we start cleaning up and pretty soon fighting breaks out. And there's like, rah, 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 and they're all like bickering with each other and I get irritated with it. And then I yell at them because I'm like, stop it with the fighting, which obviously makes no sense to yell at them for fighting. And anyway, there were tears and there was more fighting. And eventually we all ended up in timeout, which is exactly where I needed to end up. It's just so hard. Like I dream and think of the mother that I want to be and the mother that I want to be does not yell at her children. And it is so hard though in the chaos and the moment and nobody listening and nobody obeying to not just succumb to that. And anyway, I worked really hard on not yelling at my kids a couple of years ago and I did really great. But then as I stopped focusing on it, like I've slowly started yelling again and I really don't want to be a mom that yells at my kids. And this is a video I plan on doing on my own channel as I get that up and running is like tips and things that have helped me as I'm focusing on it. And just, I really want to start focusing on it some more. Like I love my children and I want them to be raised in a safe environment where they don't feel like their mom's gonna yell at them. And so it's hard on it's hard for me in these moments not to just get down on myself and get frustrated that I'm not living up to the mother that I want to be. But then of course there's the beautiful moments too, like after we were all put in our own timeouts, we came back together and I apologized to them and told them that it wasn't their fault that I had yelled. Like that was my own choice and that I can even if they're being unkind, I can choose to react nicely to them and we just apologized. They apologized to me for what they'd been doing. And so we really focus on taking accountability for our own actions. And we talk about how we're an imperfect family and we're going to make mistakes. And family life is messy. It is a messy, messy business. And anyway, then of course it ended in these like amazing cuddles and hugs. And the kids were telling me that we, they love me. And I told them that I love them. And then it was like this really sweet moment that just kind of like was adorable and also crushed my heart. I'm like, how could I ever yell at these little people? And anyway, so I guess I just wanted to share that that's what family life is. It's the good, the bad, and the ugly all wrapped up into one. And it's a whole bunch of imperfect people living in a home together and trying desperately to improve and learn how to be kind to each other. And 
sometimes it's hardest to learn how to be kind within the walls of our own home and I I'm just going to keep working on it and encourage my kids to keep working on it and anyway, that's all. Lunch with friends is the best. Woohoo! Woohoo is right! And there's the girl table. How are you, Laura? So Laura's so big, she's crawling all the way up into the tube area. Lisey, can you go with Laura? Dude. Hey! Good job, guys! So I came to the store to get batteries because clearly we cannot live with the chirping sound. And anyway, I ended up getting distracted and I got some food and I was getting ready to leave. And I was like, okay, we've got everything we need. And I'm like, oh no, we came for batteries. So luckily we are now in the battery department looking for the nine volt batteries. Okay guys, we're looking for a square battery. Ooh, maybe this is it. Mama. That looks good. Let's get a bunch of them. This way, next time this goes off in the middle of the night, we'll be ready for it. Have you guys ever had your fire alarm go off in the middle of the night? It's so annoying. What did you get? A cookie. So the grocery store that we're at gives out a cookie to the kids, so when we're almost done, so I use it as a reward that if they behave the whole time, right before we're done, we go get the cookie, and then I try to hurry to check out before they finish their cookie, and all craziness breaks loose, so we better go. Hi. Laura. Yeah. Laura, what did you but find? Right. Can you show us? Yes. Is that a puppet? Puppet! I'm gonna go to the grocery store. Oh, you cannot do that. I will. Okay, that's fine. I made the chirping stop. Yay! It's funny though, while I was up here, I had to grab you know a chair to get myself up here. And I was just thinking about how crazy it is. I have a brother-in-law who's 6'5", 6 6'6", 6 6, and he could have totally done this without a chair, you know? Like the world looks different from up here. But I'm really glad I don't have to bend down every time I walk through a door. Laura! No, 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 no! That's my clothes! Oh. No, 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 no. She never okay. did that. Step away from the toilet and put your hands in the air. You are under arrest. Jeremy just got home from work and I gave him Laura, who just woke up from her nap, to feed a bottle to. I think he's a little bit tired. What do you think? Caleb, what are you doing? Oh, I'm stuck up there. You're stuck up there? I don't believe that. So Laura has been saying a particular sentence lately that makes me really happy. Thanks, Dad. Say thank you. Melt my little heart. Caleb, what's for dinner? Smushed potatoes. Smushed potatoes. I love them. We are having baked potato with a bunch of toppings. There's broccoli and cottage cheese and some turkey. That's turkey on top. Now it's Cubby's turn. Give hugs. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> 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 so 
Lizzie hug. Go give Lizzie hug. Oh, Daddy, do you want a hug? I want a hug. Back to Isaac. <laughs> Laura. Laura, what? come here. Give Daddy hugs. Daddy. Give Daddy hugs. Oh. oh. Mama's turn. Every night before we go to bed, we all hug each other, and Laura has really caught on to this tradition that we have. Oh, Caleb's turn. J House out. I'm Taylor. I'm from Abilene, Kansas. That's it for now. J House out. Hi, my name is Heidi. I'm from Ohio. J House out. We are.